to an influencer event. I haven't linked to my storefront. It to me. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm in my bathroom starting off the morning of per usual getting ready. So I was invited to an influencer event. It's going to be on Newberry Street and it's a brunch so I'm really excited. It's going to be like so cute and classy and I just wanted to get ready with you guys and show you guys how I prep for these type of events. It's for a skincare company called Mara Beauty and I'm just so excited to hear more about their brands, about the products. The founder of Mara is going to be there and I'm just going to get to meet her. They're all like algae infused, really clean, really high-end skincare products. So I'm so excited. I'm going to tell you all about it when I get back and hopefully vlog a little bit there but I wanted to show you guys my process of getting ready because I don't know, I, sometimes it's hard to know what to wear to these things. Like, I literally don't know what I'm doing half the time, so I'm just gonna do my makeup first, and then you can help me pick out an outfit, or I'll show you my options. You guys have seen my makeup routine a million times, but I'm just going to do a very simple, minimal look. Also, I've been feeling really under the weather. It's not COVID or anything. I think I just have, like, spring allergies because the weather has been changing a lot here in Boston, so if I'm stuffy or I sound different, that's why I'm like so congested. Makeup is done, and I'm gonna take these out and change into my outfit. Let's see. The weather. Let's look at the weather real quick. Not that I ever really dress for the weather anyway, but it's 34 right now, high of 53. That's not horrible for Boston, and I kind of want to wear a skirt outfit. I just feel like a cute little classy tall boot with a skirt outfit will be cute for brunch. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So these are the two options. Hi, baby. He's just sleepy, man. She stay in bed so late. So this is the same shirt, exact same shirt, but one's a little bigger, so it fits different. So this one's more of like a croppy, tight one, and even though it's the same shirt, this looks a little like looser. So we have the same color scheme going on. I have my black leather skirt and then this like cute little pistachio green one. So I'm going to try on both of these with my tall boots and show you guys. This is outfit one, long leather skirt boots please ignore my apartment but i don't know i feel like maybe this one's a little too like revealing i'm definitely wearing this little bag that i got on amazon i'll have it linked in my storefront it's so cute i'm obsessed with it and then i'm gonna wear my like long wool trench okay this is like the full outfit with the trench coat I don't know, it's cute with the trench coat, but obviously I'm gonna take the trench coat off inside and then I just feel like it's kinda too much. So let me try the other one on. This is the second outfit. I moved my mirror and it's the same shirt, just in a different size, so it's not as cropped, so I feel way more comfortable in it. Yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna wear. And then this skirt, which is reverse colors from the other outfit, but 
It's really cute and I like it with the boots. And I like it with the trench coat. So I think this is going to be the outfit. Since you guys can't vote anyway, I'm going to have to choose. And I think I'm going to go with this just because I feel the most comfortable. So I hope you like this one. Um, I'm running late. I like got to get going. Ryan just went out to get me Starbucks. And he's actually dropping me off at the event, which is so nice. Because if you know me, I hate parking on Newberry Street. Like I just really hate finding parking. And then I'd have to leave even more early to do that. This is my new favorite perfume, Gabrielle by Chanel. Ryan got it for me for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna put on my ring from Third Tone. Oh my God, I'm like having a panic attack. I almost dropped my camera. <sighs> if I had dropped my camera, I would have like fucking burst out in tears right now. I almost just dropped my camera and I caught it by like my the edge of my finger, I caught it. I don't know how that just happened. Jesus Christ, okay. Holy shit. All right, I need to put on deodorant. I'm a mess. I woke up like early, so I didn't have to feel rushed and I'm still feeling so rushed. Okay, I'm waiting for Ryan to get back with my Starbucks and then we're gonna head out. So I will hopefully vlog when I'm there and I'll talk about it when I come back. So I'll see you guys later. It was like, it was magical. It was so, so cute. The brunch place that we went was Contesa in Boston. And it's like this gorgeous rooftop bar, like one of the best restaurants in Boston, I would say for sure. It's in Back Bay. The views were amazing. The food was so good. Go follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I've been posting on there. I would say around maybe like 10 girls there and they're all influencers in Boston as well. Some of the girls like main platforms were TikTok, some of them did Instagram. So it was just like a variety and like a range. So it was just really cool to meet other creators in Boston and the owner, Allison, she's so, so sweet, also has the same name as me. And she lives in LA and she came to Boston just to have this little event for us. So I just thought it was amazing. I'm obsessed with skincare and her brand is so cool. I honestly haven't tried it yet, but I still like am highly recommending it. I know I'm gonna fall in love with it. The results she was showing like before and after pictures of like her clients and their skin and the results looked insane. Also, it's really cool because a lot of like celebrities use her products. Um, Hailey Bieber actually bought her cleanser, which is like her one of her best-selling products and said it's like her favorite cleanser. So I just think that's really cool. And obviously we all trust Hailey Bieber's opinion. Oh, it was so cute. She gave us all these little goodie bags and I want to unbox it on here really quick with you guys. So in it came this little clip. It says Mara on it. I'm going to use this to tie back my hair when I'm doing my skincare. And then she gave us two of her best-selling like products right now. This one is newer, I guess. It's Spirulina and Ashwagandha Volcanic Sea Clay Detox Mask. And I was looking at her skincare before and actually like eyeing this because one of my biggest problems with my skin is like my pores and exfoliation and just feeling like I have really clogged skin, but my skin is also dry. Perfect thing for me because it's hydrating, but also will get rid of all of those clogged pores. So, and I don't have like a good mask right now that I'm using, so this, I'm so excited for this. I use this tonight when I go to take off my makeup, but I'm so pumped for this. The packaging is beautiful. Like, since all of her products have like algae, they're really like ocean-based, like sea. She has red hair. She's like, I want it to be like mermaid vibes. This is what it looks like, just like so luxurious. Her spatula, I don't have anything like this. It like feels nice. Then the next product she gave us, which I'm going to use right now, is the 
Algae and Morning uh, Universal Face Oil. She said this is like her best seller. Use it morning and night for all skin types. You know, that's why it's the universal face oil and it's hydrating and replenishes tired dry skin So just like a nice basic oil look look how pretty it is and I knew this brand because of revolve which I think is really cool So I have a few of their products also linked in my revolve favorites, which is always in my bio So good. I don't even know how to describe it, but it definitely feels hydrating. I love the smell of it. It has a very subtle smell. I think she said it's like bergamot. I definitely feel very like glowy after putting that on. It's definitely very glowy and dewy. Like her whole thing is like see the glow. Those are always the products that I stand by. I really want to try her retinol. She said, like, oh, just let me know if there's any other products that you want to try out so definitely the retinol i definitely want to get my hands on the cleanser and honestly just use the entire lineup because i think they're going to be amazing i'm going to do a pr haul because i feel like i haven't done one on my channel in a little bit this first package is from paragon which is a fitness company they sent me a workout set i'm so excited to open this i don't have anything from them my code is Allison Rose. I will have everything linked that I got in the description below. My next package is from Skims, and this is honestly like crazy. I'm a part of their partner program, so this is just like crazy to me. I am actually going to do like a full blown try on haul of their stuff and like review on my thoughts on the brand overall. So stay tuned for a video from that. So I'm not going to show you guys what I got here, but. Oh my god, I just wanted to show you that I got this in because it's just like so exciting for me. I got some things for an upcoming vacation because I feel like this is the perfect basics to get. I'm so excited to actually share my thoughts on it, so make sure you're subscribed. I did not vlog all day today because honestly I was just like... I spent the whole day at home like taking content for TikTok. I filmed a YouTube video and I don't know, I feel like... I spend days just like scrolling on my phone and looking for inspo and just like before I know it It's like nine o'clock and I'm like what is even happening? So I really did nothing today and I tried to take content for a brand and the pictures came out horrible So I have to spend my day tomorrow Retaking them so it just was not a good content day and because it was like it was so gloomy today and rainy and the lighting of my apartment There was like nothing so it was so hard to take anything and it was so frustrating as someone who works another full-time job i have to spend my weekends doing content creation so when the weather's bad over the weekend it just really like sets me back so much i sorted through my closet i'll actually i'll show you guys like <laughs> my rack right now it's ridiculous my rack and like stuff i'm anticipating to bring to costa rica and it's just a lot we're only going for a week so it's not like i need to bring that much but this is all like my summer stuff that I still like that I'm thinking about. So that's why it's all out here. I just want to make sure that like I have cute outfits that I can get good pictures in and good content when I'm there. Because it's going to be like the trip of a lifetime. So I'm feeling the pressure. Anyway, I'm going to do the mess now. And I feel like I need it. My pores are so bad. Otto is playing around on the floor if you can hear that. But we're using the mask also guys i didn't even show you these nails because i absolutely hate them i think they're disgusting i was like embarrassed to even show them they don't look bad they're just not what i wanted and she insisted on doing the tip and dip and not gel and i told her i do not want a dip tip over a dip nail it's not going to show up and like oh auto stop and she cut them so short and my nails have like never been this short in my life and I just hate them so much. It says leave on for 15 minutes. I forgot to tell you guys how it's feeling last night. I'm sorry, I'm like so sick this weekend and like keep forgetting to vlog. I like slept in so much, but I needed it. Um, 
my skin i was just waking up from doing like the mask and then like using the oil of my skincare routine my skin feels amazing like i'm not even joking it feels so soft i already feel like some of the pores are unclogged that i was like annoyed about last night it feels like a baby's skin like <laughs> i love it it's sunday i have a lot to do today so i want to get ready put on a cute outfit maybe go get some coffee and whatever so i'll keep you posted Peace. <laughs> Zero glutes, a donut, and an oatmeal banana blueberry wow. muffin. And they're vegan? Vegan. Wow, where'd you go? It was called Intergalasta. It was like really close. We passed it a few times, but. Yeah, like really close. Damn. And you got matcha. Yeah. Thanks, boo. They had a like, bunch of teas, but the teas Great all sucked. That was the only one that made the most sense. Well, matcha has just as much caffeine, I think. It does, it was really low. Really? Yeah, it's a more steady. Wow. I based this outfit all off of my workout set, which is my new Paragon Fitwear workout set. I'm actually so impressed by the quality. I think I showed you guys earlier in the package, but this is it on. They gave me this cute little like cropped workout tee. It's so smooth and buttery, like seriously so buttery. The leggings are equally as buttery and I'm obsessed with this like army green. I think it's so stunning and it has a cute little like pocket you can put your phone for working out. Makes your butt look so good. Honestly, I would compare the quality to Lululemon. I feel like they're that soft, like the Lululemon aligns. I never wear my Yeezys and I was so excited because this is literally like Yeezy vibes, this army green color and they match so perfectly. I think they're Hanes. I don't know. They're a men's sock, but I'll have them linked on my storefront because they're the perfect, like, bulky sock to wear with outfits like this. And then my Yeezys do have this, like, gray strip on them right here. And I wanted to wear an oversized gray blazer. So this is Ryan's blazer. And I think it just pulls the whole outfit together. It's, like, neutrals, all neutrals, but they're, like, all different tones that I think just vibe together. And then I paired it with my Valentino purse. This is the one designer bag that I own, and it's my baby. It's so beautiful, and I never wear it because I'm, like, scared to wear it, but I think this is, like, a perfect streetwear, street style look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is somebody's step. I will, we have clean to it up. I will clean it up. You don't even need to really wipe it. Oh, good call. Yeah, just throw some water on there. <laughs> Content shooting gone wrong. I hate black. What'd you get? A Drew hat. Nice. A nice hat. Damn. Where's the chain I got you? My backpack because I don't wear it when I play basketball. Brian wanted this. Thick boy. Thick. Snake medallion. I love necklaces. Who's the same as you? What? Jewelry? Yeah, I want necklaces. I actually think less of people when I see the word designers there. And then it's like paper one or whatever, and then it's a guy asking the girl, like, oh, what you trying to do tonight? Unboxing. Oh, do you want to put it? No, go ahead. How do you want this? What is the framing here? Let me see. Gorgeous. Oh, I saw the butt of the snake. <laughs> hey guys, um, we just got back, and I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh.